Good morning and welcome to FYI, a community affairs program of the station. I'm Mark Weinstein, Executive Director of Public Relations at Cedarville University, your host for today's program. Today I'm talking with Kyle Peterson from the Cedarville University School of Business Administration about a new program that just may revolutionize the college experience for students of all majors. Welcome to the program, Kyle. Thank you for having me. Now there's a lot of new developments taking place at Cedarville University right now. Cedarville expects to announce its 13th consecutive record enrollment next month. It's also currently involved in a building three projects on campus, one a Chick-fil-A restaurant, another a 282-bed residence hall, and a civil engineering building. This is exciting news, but Kyle was with me today to talk about another exciting initiative, and that is the Entrepreneur Accelerator that will begin this fall at Cedarville. So, Kyle, what is the Entrepreneur Accelerator? The Entrepreneur Accelerator is an experience that is combining a, the entrepreneurship minor uh, that's traditionally come out of the SBA, the business department, and we're installing a second part to that, which is called an accelerator. Uh, for those of you who don't know, an accelerator is, is generally a private um, experience where a startup company will hire uh, onto a group that has professional marketers, they'll have startup capital, and over the course of 16 weeks, they're kind of led through this program that allows them to scale up very quickly, uh, allowing them to capture the eyes of venture capitalists um, and angel investors so they can uh, scale quickly and you know, run their business uh, in a much larger magnitude. Is this accelerator concept, uh, obviously it's new to Cedarville. Is this something that's been going on in colleges across the country before this year at Cedarville? Um, it's really been limited to the private sector. There are some colleges that do have an accelerator, not to be confused with an incubator. Okay. Um, but what we found is um, Cedarville will actually be one of 100 global accelerators and the only Christian school to advertise an accelerator program for students and alumni. Okay, so why is it important with that background to bring the accelerator to Cedarville? We look at uh, places like Silicon Valley, uh, where the accelerator uh, kind of grew up. Um, you know, you had Angel Hub, you had Y Combinator. There's some other popular ones out there. Um, we see that shift moving away from Silicon Valley. There's going to be a large presence in the uh, so southern states like Texas. Uh, the Midwest is really lacking their own accelerator experience, and we really want Cedarville University to become the recognized hub of faith-based entrepreneurship. Okay, so are, who's helping you pull this all together? Good question. <laughs> we are a startup ourselves. Um, so this originated when uh, Dick Blank uh, from Texas, he's an 82 Cedarville graduate, um, approached the business department with this concept, and um, the great minds got together, and I was pulled in, and we really just began this at the beginning of summer. So you're very, very new. So um, you don't even know what to expect going forward. Yeah, we're, we're running pretty lean. Um, we weren't sure what to expect by the time school started, but the early indicators um, you know, show us uh, outperforming uh, at every level. We are actually starting the Entrepreneur Accelerator a whole semester early. Um, we were going to start in spring, but due to demand, uh, we've had students and alumni just reach out to us, and so we're doing a soft launch in the fall. Okay. So uh, how will this accelerator program benefit Cedarville University students, maybe even alumni? Sure. Um, a lot of students, we found, are already doing this. They're renting places off campus uh, or in some of the neighboring villages to bootstrap their business, and they're doing that on their own. Um, nobody's even really sure who's, who's doing it, where or how. Um, some of the faculty members may know. So we're trying to draw these students out that are already doing this. And we're going to enroll them in this project uh, called the Accelerator Experience and pull them through what we would call a lean startup methodology that addresses certain topics uh, so that their business become primed and ready uh, for scale. Okay. I, I think back to last year, um, I had a, a senior in my, as a PR intern in the public relations office, Gabe Chester is his name. Sure. He, he started his own outdoor gear business uh, 
when he was like a sophomore in college and it's thriving today. So he would have really benefited from this. So I, I think this is an exciting uh, new venture for the university. Yeah, I do too. Uh, I, I think as uh, the fall moves along and the students begin to see their classmates enter this program, becoming successful, um, actually earning revenue that could go towards paying back their uh, college loans if they have any, they're going to start to be more, become more interested in this uh, process and find out how they can uh, have a startup idea and bring that into the accelerator. Sounds good. So as part of the new program, uh, you're going to launch a, a campaign initiative in, in the fall, just in a few weeks, actually, in September. It's kind of like a Shark Tank type program. Tell me more about this event that's taking place. Yeah, the this is called The Pitch, and it's going to be the back-to-campus event to attend this fall. Uh, so on September 7th, students will watch as 8 to 10 of their classmates uh, get on stage and present their innovative business idea to a panel of expert judges for a chance to win cash prizes. And that's why uh, next to us in studio is this huge check. <laughs> and so the first place winner, I assume, earns $1,000? Yeah, $1,000 for the first place winner. Runner-up gets 500 and third and fourth place will split $500. Okay, so how, how is this going to work? I mean, give, give our listeners a little more background of what, what will take place. It's in the DeVries Theater on campus. Is it open to the public or just the campus community? Right now, we just want to limit it to the campus community, okay. so faculty, staff, and, of course, students. We want the students there to cheer on their, their classmates as they present. Um, you don't have to have a business. You don't even have to have a legitimate business idea to be a part of this. Uh, this is just a fun event. It's low key, but we're hyping it pretty, uh, pretty well. Uh, each contestant will be allowed five minutes to present their idea mm -hmm. and how it will generate some form of revenue. Uh, they must be accompanied by a pitch deck, which is a PowerPoint uh, slide mm -hmm. that addresses the basic questions and answers that investors would normally want to see. And, you don't have to be a business major to participate. In fact, it'd be kind of cool to get an English major or somebody who isn't really necessarily pursuing business to be part of this. Is that true? Absolutely. Yeah, we found a lot of the uh, students and alumni that are uh, starting their own business aren't coming out of the business department anyway. Okay. As a, uh, as a reset, if you're just joining us, you're listening to FYI, a community affairs program of this station. I'm Mark Weinstein, your host, and today I'm talking with Kyle Peterson from Cedarville University School of Business Administration about the Entrepreneur Accelerator and the Pitch Program at Cedarville University coming up in September. Uh, Kyle, um, is, the, is there any way, um, so people are, are driving this morning, uh, listening to this program, and they're intrigued by what you've said. Um, is there any way for the community to get involved in the Accelerator uh, maybe not the pitch, but the accelerator. Yeah, right now we're looking uh, for Cedarville to be involved in the greater Dayton area, uh, Miami Valley conglomerate that supports entrepreneurship. We do want to make connections with other schools, other organizations, the city of Dayton, the city of Springfield uh, that have initiatives going on. Uh, but perhaps something uh, where our students can be involved in their efforts and some of their members can be involved in our efforts. Okay, so now... I'm going back to what you said a little bit ago about um, the accelerator and why. Where is the closest accelerator on a college campus to us, to Cedarville University? Do you know? Uh, I actually am not sure. Um, when I had said, you know, we are the only Christian campus advertising, um, I was not able to find any other Christian campuses um, and I didn't really look at the larger scope of campuses. Some of the larger ones have them, Stanford, Harvard. Sure. Um, any ones that are closer to us, I'm just not aware of. What, you know, obviously with this kind of program, once you build some interest, you build some capital, uh, you'll have a great program, I would think. And I would think it would, and we're going off a little bit of, of your accelerator here, but it has to have a a benefit to the university in terms of enrollment purposes? Sure. Um, the accelerator is open to students and alumni. Uh, one of the benefits to them is that we're going to have entrepreneur in residence who are subject matter experts. They're proven in their field. They're investors. And they will be having some one-on-one -on -one time with each uh, what we'll call founder okay. uh, in the accelerator. 
Um, they'll also be able to pull from the uh, business practicum. So mm -hmm. if they need some, uh, if they need to mobilize some students on a project, they can pull them out real quickly. Um, so there really is a, a great package here at Cedarville for the uh, accelerator program. In terms of enrollment, um, we do want to reach out to high school students, um, even homeschool students that are have a more entrepreneurial mind that are looking to start a business. Um, we hope to draw them in. And of course, we hope to draw the alumni back as well, not just necessarily as accelerator participants, but as those subject matter experts and even investors. So if you're listening to this program and, and you're a, stu a prospective student of a, of a college, I mean, you may not even be thinking about Cedarville right now, but maybe this program uh, makes you take a glance at Cedarville. You know, that's a, this is a great program. Or um, maybe you're a, a parent or a grandparent. Uh, be sure to share this information with those who um, are looking for colleges because uh, this is a unique program. And uh, as, as Kyle said, uh, uh, it's rare on a Christian college campus to have such a program. This is typically at the, the Harvards and the Stanfords and the Michigan. So um, take a look at Cedarville in this program. Um, going back to the pitch, Kyle. Um, so it's, it's a Shark Tank type event. Uh, how are you promoting it on campus? And then once the pitch begins, who are the judges? Um, right now we have uh, two judges lined up. We have two that are still, we, we still need to reach out to them or they need to get back to us. Um, one of them is um, a IP patent attorney out of Wright Pat. Um, the other one is, I believe it's Mindy May, um, okay. our own who, Mindy May. Who's so. Mindy May? Um, she works for uh, Campus Services and okay. Student Life. Dean of, dean, of, dean of Students. Yeah. Okay. Um, the other two we're still trying to pull in. Um, I wouldn't mind getting five, but, um, you know, if you're listening to this and you're interested in judging, certainly reach out to us. How do people reach out to you to learn more about this program? Uh, for the program, reach out to me personally right now. Um, just Kyle Peterson at cedarville.edu. We're currently uh, revamping the entrepreneurship webpage. Uh, until that's done, I'm probably the best point of reference for information. Okay. And my the last question before we close. Uh, in front of us, we have these headbands. What, what are these headbands for? And describe them. Right. These are uh, party unicorn headbands. Um, one of the reasons why we're choosing unicorns is uh, when it comes to startups and small business, a unicorn is a company that raises a billion dollars in startup capital. And uh, the... Enactus booth at the Involvement Fair will be handing these out. Uh, and if you wear this to the pitch, you will be eligible for a free prize. So be sure to stop by the Involvement Fair, look for the giant unicorn, get your headband, and uh, wear it to the pitch on September 7th. I'm wearing mine right now, so uh, I'll take my prize whenever you want to bring it to me. <laughs> All right, you'll have to show up uh, at the uh, theater. I will be there. So that's today's program, which came to you from the newsroom at Cedarville University. I want to thank Kyle Peterson for joining me today in studio, Logan Hayes for producing today's segment, and you, the listener, for spending the past 15 minutes with us. Please join me next month when I will have guests who will discuss today's current events from a biblical perspective. As you know, Cedarville University teaches all of its academic programs from a biblical worldview, whether it's in pharmacy, cybersecurity, engineering, biblical studies, or nursing. Located in southwest Ohio between Columbus and Dayton, Cedarville University has a student enrollment of 4,200 undergraduate, graduate, and online students and teaches all of its academic programs from a biblical worldview. I encourage you to check out Cedarville by visiting cedarville.edu. That's cedarville.edu. Thanks for listening. Have a blessed day.